broadcast of this cup match. Today it's Bayern Munich against Roma. Let's get to the Allianz Arena then. The lights blazing out of this brilliant stadium and a terrific atmosphere guaranteed. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. This is a group stage match and the pressure is high on the players today. It is, and in tournament football, very much a question of concentration and keeping a good consistency of performance. Bayern Munich's lineup: Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Philipp Lahm starts with David Alaba as the fullbacks. Ian Robin starts with Frank Ribery, looking to provide width. Robert Lewandowski is the main striker today. Roma's lineup for you: Morgan De Sanctis starts in goal. Raja Nainggolan plays with Daniel De Rossi in central midfield. Seydou Dumbia is the one striker today. One thing about Italian football, they players seem to play forever, don't they? And uh, Totti at Roma is a fine example of that. Well, he seems to have been their talisman for so many years, the hero of that city, or at least the Roma fans within the city, and uh, still going strong. Plugmakers is the referee today. It's the kickoff in the group stage, their first match. Yeah, a lot at stake and a lot of preparation gone into it. Should be a good one, this. David Alaba. Frank Ribéry. Now, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Xavi Alonso. Xavi Alonso already had a disappointment in 2014, being suspended from the Champions League final. But if he hoped he was going to play in another World Cup final, those hopes were dashed too by Spain's shortcomings. Here's the chance! Just needed to settle on the ball before striking the shot. Raja Nine Golan. How to improve on perfection. That was the problem for Bayern Munich in 2013-14. When you've won the lot the year before, it's difficult, isn't it, Alan? It is difficult, as Pep Guardiola found out. And uh, he obviously changed their style of football slightly. And it looked at one stage as if he was going to perform the impossible and, well, emulate the treble, at least, that they achieved under Jupp Heynckes, but uh, wasn't to be. Raja Nine Golan makes a challenge here. And it's with Robin. Ryan Robin, who can uh, play on the right or the left. Right in quickly to try and win the ball back. Great opportunity. In with a chance. He's cleaned up here, hasn't he, with that clearance. Bayern Munich given the throw. Now, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Lewandowski! Here's the shot, and it's just wide of the target. Robert. Possession in the midfield area. Now, 
Bastian Schweinsteiger. When he arrived in Brazil, Bastian Schweinsteiger wasn't 100% fit, but Yogi Love managed him well, got him into the team at the right time, and he stayed in the team, of course, right to the end. Michael. Oh, in goes the cross. It's a goal! Offside given, Alan. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. Your view now, Alan, on the replay. Well, first time of viewing, I thought he timed his run perfectly, but on closer inspection, I think he was just a yard off. Very good challenge. Robert, and the cross coming in. It's a good position, it's a chance. And here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Roger Nine Golan. Well, we might get an update on that injury now from our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff. He went over his ankle, but he's a game player, so I don't think that'll take him off. Jeff, I knew you'd know what was going on down there. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Thomas Müller. Marvellous tackle. Miralem Pjanic. Frank Ribéry. Schweinsteiger. Ian Robin. Here's a chance to attack. Bayern Munich ready to bring on a sub. Thomas Müller. They've got the ball back through a very good interception. Here's the cross. Trying to find Müller. Well, he's cleared it away well. They're shouting from the uh, sidelines to try and get the referee to... Let the injured player back on. He looks OK now, which is great. Yeah, I think he does. He doesn't seem to be in after effects, and he'll be a, a big boost for them now. He's not going to be able to carry on. A substitute is coming on. Javinho. Well, he's lent the ball to his mates. He's got it back again. It's decent attacking play. Good skill with the ball to beat a man. And here comes De Rossi. It's a free kick here in a scoring position. There's no doubt about that. Save. Raja Nine Golan. Javinho. And the defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Well, they've got the ball there and they want to restart the game. You can understand that with the throw on it goes. Philip Lahm. Goethe. So Bayern Munich have won a corner here. It is risky going to ground these days for a tackle, but this was perfect, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think he was in control of his movements, certainly knew what he wanted to do. Now, Javi 
Xavi Alonso. Miralem Pjanic. Seydou Dumbia. Well, no one's on the end of that cross. So it's half-time and we're still waiting for that first goal. It's a really big game in the tournament, this one. But we're halfway through it and the scores are level. Yeah, and I think neither side really honestly can say that they deserve to be in front. So we've reached half-time and the game is scoreless. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Start of the second half of this opening match in the group stage. Well, it was entertaining. It was a little nervous at times in the first half. Might change now. Thomas Muller. Muller. That's a real tussle for the ball. Florenzi. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Mario Goethe. Schweinsteiger. Here's Michael. Florenzi. Miralem Pjanic. Thomas Muller. Made sure the ball is stuck at his foot. Mario Goetze. But it's got to be. Oh, he's got a block in there. And he's gone behind for Bayern's uh, benefit. It's a corner for them. given for Bayern Munich. Here's the chance. Oh, he's had a crack here. Well, it was all about making the right connection. He just couldn't quite manage it. Well, now we are going to have a substitution. And at this stage of the game, it's still level. This is what the manager will hope will be the decisive moment. Daniele De Rossi. Decision to be made by Pim Plugmarkers. <laughs> Victor Ibaba. Tries his luck. Working hard to try and get the goal that will put him into the lead. Jerome Botek. 
Good control here. Quite congested midfield, but good passing from this team. Javinho. In with the chance. And here's the shot. Pjanic, Seydou Dumbia, Kastan, Raja Nain Golan, David Alaba, Thomas Muller, and it's back to him again. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Ribéry giving the width again, looking for Robin. Castan. Javinho. That's where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. Coming on for Roma, one of their substitutes. Muller. Bastian Schweinsteiger. Now Ribéry. Back to Schweinsteiger. Here's a Ribéry. Played into the middle. Seydou Gumbia. Unmarked now, he's lost his marker. Attacking well here. Mario Goetze. And it's passed back again. Now Ribéry. Good piece of defensive clearance that was. Mario Goetze. Thomas Muller. Good movement to get to it. Victor Ibaba. Seydou Gumbia. Next goal, very... Bayern have conceded this free kick. He's coming off now. He is a defensive midfield player, but you think he could play in all aspects of uh, that particular part of the pitch. He's certainly good on the ball. Yeah, he is. He's one of those. He, he's just a footballer, pure and simple, and he can play in a variety of positions. And This is his, his proper one, his, his favourite one, and we saw why today. Castan. Well, we've only got seven minutes remaining now. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? It's got to be. It's still level on the scoreline, thanks to this goalkeeper. Well, he might have earned his team a draw. Might be more than that, even. It's the keeper's save. Kept the ball. Xavi Alonso. Mario Goetze. Successful tackle. Xavi Alonso. Ian Robert. Gabby Alonso, keeping the ball moving, that's important. But well, he has a go. Now it's offside against Thomas Müller.
that's a nice pass, a headed pass to a teammate. Mario Goetze. Jerome Botek. And is this the moment for them? It got to be. That was the opportunity, really. And he came very close to taking it, but I'm afraid it's just wide. You know, he's been in good form. I think his teammates were fully expecting him to score there. It's all over. And there is the final whistle. Very close game. Neither side could really get themselves on top for long enough. Both sides did have their chances, Martin, but at the end of the day, I don't think either side deserved to win. So it's finished scoreless. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, 